Uh, I think, I don't know if I talked about these already. Basically, I picked up a lot of these uh, aroma things. And they're basically for essential oils. $6.49 plus $1. They only cost like 75 cents. What's up, YouTube? I am back with another video in a new location. I'm actually on the ping pong table right now, which is actually really cool. Considering there's unlimited desk space, usually that does not happen. But yeah, so let's talk about a few things today and kind of like get the video going. Have you ever woke up? from like a long night of sleep and you look at your phone and you see $20 has been added to your PayPal account or uh, bank account or whatever. I had it a few times now and that feeling is kind of ridiculous. But I guess the real question that it kind of leads to is that do you consider that passive income since you did kind of make it when you were sleeping? A lot of people often say that before you do passive income, that you must put in active work first. I guess according to that, then eBay is passive because you did the sourcing first, you found the items, the good deals, you listed it first, and then you got the passive by the money came in, but you still need to ship it out, which is more active income. I guess the thing you can compare it to would be like dividends and high, high yield savings account. Those are basically literally no work. You put the money in, you don't need to worry about it, and money will just come in as time passes, as dividends get paid or like, the monthly uh, high use account. So that's what most people would consider passive income. But I always thought about eBay and like, I was always wondering like, why can't you just hire someone to do the job and you'll be good. Basically for me, my own personal goal actually is to expand the sales, obviously. Once I can bring a good amount of money in right now, right now I'm bringing in maybe like 2,000 every two months, so 1,000 a month in sales, not profit. And my goal is to actually raise that. And then once I raise that, I can hire someone to do the uh, the listing and packing, or maybe just the packing part, and I can do the sourcing, get the good deal. Cause I actually enjoy doing that. I enjoy finding all the great deals out there, trying to get like, uh, trying to get things for the cheapest so that I can actually make a profit on it. I guess my goal one day would be just have a part-time job for myself and I guess the uh, person I hire for them to kind of, like I said, pack it and ship it out. Video is kind of boring, but I'm gonna come back with my deal that I picked up recently and kind of like some sales I've been doing. I have a bunch of uh, labels here. Basically that I need to kind of go through, make sure that they actually ship. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Kind of just a quick video. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything else. I do kind of wanna talk about dividend investing. I do have a few of those. My uh, high yield interest savings account. I know everybody talks about those things. I'll show you real numbers, kind of like what I do and how I put my money. I don't make a lot, but I made about like maybe 200 a month on just like, just sitting here doing nothing. So yeah, that'll be probably the next video, but you guys have a great day. Right, so I guess I'm gonna kind of show you what's been happening recently. I can't show you the whole thing only because there's names and everything, but I sold PSP uh, four, four total discs. I think it was like two movies and two games. That's how much I sold it for. Uh, let me just tell you, buyer paid $1.29 for shipping. I kind of just set that. I don't want to show you the name because there is a name right there. It's just really quickly. But yeah, I got that for free, so technically I didn't have to pay anything for that. Got around ten dollars after. This one I did pay. It was a fifteen ninety nine plus uh, four forty four shipping. Uh, it is a light bulb. Let me just show you really quickly. I picked that up at Michaels. They actually had three, but I only got one considering I didn't really see that it sold too often. It sold maybe like three times a month, but I got lucky. I sold it within two weeks. Picked up around uh, $8, and it uh, looks like I'm pocketing maybe uh, after shipping, probably like $6, which is pretty good percentage considering it only cost $8 for me. Uh, I think, I don't know if I talked about these already. Basically, I picked up a lot of these uh, aroma things, and they're basically for essential oils. $6.49 plus $1. They only cost like 75 cents, I believe. I have uh, five of them. Yeah, but sold the first one, basically made all my money back already for the rest of them. So let's hope I sell it and I can finally pocket some profits. Uh, so these are really popular right now. These are the uh, Frozen books. Basically, they're hardcover and they're pop-ups. So when you open it, it's like a huge story, you can see. Sold for $23.99. I had to pay for shipping. I kind of just did that because everybody else was doing it. But it only cost me about like six fifty. It was on Target and it was like a really good deal. All right, so these candles, I picked up five of them. I actually sold a lot of them lately. Well, I sold two and two, $14.69. I paid, I think, two sixty dollars for both of them. So, yep, looks like it's good profit. I think I made about maybe like $8 or something like that. They were a little bit expensive to ship, so they were kind of risky for me, but I put it in a flat rate. This was just the um, same thing, $6, $3,978. It came with my uh, 
Fire TV stick, don't have that anymore, so took a little money there. So I got these at a GameStop. I have a few GameStops by me. I am from Brooklyn, but only one of them that was near my house actually had it. So it was good to know that these were probably worth something. I think they cost only eleven ninety nine at GameStop. That's the other candle I sold. That's another Funko I sold. This is just uh, things I have at home. So I bought this in uh, Walmart a while ago. If you guys remember, uh, I bought it in Walmart. And I guess they had so many there. And like, I didn't really want to pick up too many. So I picked up one of them. And it was only a dollar. So I made a lot of money on that one. It was actually a funny story. I picked up on Amazon for, I think it was like four ninety nine. Ended up making a good three dollars. It is just a digital code as you can see so I didn't need any shipping so I made a decent amount of money.